Hello, this is Roland, Cisco Switzerland. I quickly want to give you an overview about the latest news on Control Hub End. So Control Hub is where we manage our devices, video and telephony devices, and our meetings and so on. So highlights there are the remote access, very important for our video devices. We have the workspace, the insights to like get a feeling on how our environment does and we also have the workspace ranking if we troubleshooting um, an environment so let's go and have a look at uh, our control hub we have this uh, here open i want to show you my home office so my home office is currently has a desk pro in microsoft teams rooms mode I wanted to show you here the remote access part. So we do have all the information from the device as we should have. And then we have a new setting here, remote access, where we can go and say, okay, there is nobody in the meeting room, but the device is actually standing um, right below the desk here. It doesn't recognize my legs as a person. I can start. I have um, a little window popping up on the device to let me know that it would like to access. So it's showing now 15 seconds until it allows me to access device, the device. Um, this is what happens when there's nobody in the meeting room. So there is an acoustic signal and there is a message showing somebody would like to access um, your device. So now nobody has declined it, and then we can basically access the device directly. The image I'm showing here, it's uh, Microsoft Teams rooms, which has not been deployed. It's kind of on purpose that I'm showing this, uh, not because I don't have a Microsoft Teams room license. Uh, that's also a reason, but mainly because now you can see, okay, I can read the registration code I need for to register the device. And I don't have to go to the device in order to read that registration code. I can not only see what's shown on the device, I can also interact with the device. So I can see, okay, um, these are the options which I can, I have, I can, um, choose like certain camera options, best view, whatever. And I can <clears throat> also interact with the device like fully as I would be right in front of it. So <clears throat> in this case, I'm in Control Hub. I open the device and I go and uh, access device the device directly from here so i'm not i don't need a direct connection to the device itself i'm still in control hub as you can see here this is still the control hub as you know it i also have the option when i'm in front of the device to revoke access so i can cancel the um, remote access when i'm in front of the device i'm going to do this quickly so the access has been uh, revoked and the device ended the remote access session. So this is also shown here. So we also have a second option to um, remote access devices. We connect to the web user interface of the device shown here. We um, have the overview. We have a new little tab showing remote access. We also have the information about um, there is somebody in the meeting room. By the way, it's a board probe we have here. And then let me uh, show you here how this is going to look like. So, yes, control unit of the device, I say launch, then I say start. You see a window popping up with the um, time until it's auto accepting. So let me say accept. And then we are directly into the device itself. On this device, we have now 
two screens which are connected. So there's as many screens are shown as they are connected to the device. So now we have the screen, the main screen, where the device is actually in bring your own device mode. So you see this on the top screen here. I changed to, the, to this one and so that you can see this actually working and available. We can see, okay, I would like to change the camera view. I have the manual camera view and I zoom like a little bit. Oh, I changed the camera to another setting. So I'll be seen from another angle and I'll change it back to this one here. Quite cool. I can now remote control our devices from either the control hub directly, so I don't need any access, or um, from the user interface when I connect to the device directly. And also here, I say, no, this time I do like a end session. The session has ended and I can go back to the other um, interface of the device. So let's have a look at the analytics and utilization. I logged into our control hub. I have a few devices in there I manage for our environment. So for example, let's go to analytics and we see the devices section. So I clicked on this part here. I can see the utilization of the devices. So um, let's say how the devices as such have been used. So have they been used as a local display? Have there been calls made, digital signage used or USB pass through? Also like the whiteboarding is documented here. And um, we can see this like as a trend as well across the week or month, depending on how we would like to have a look at it. And also um, how the devices have been used for which kind of calls. So being it WebEx meetings, being it um, interop calls with Microsoft Teams or WebRTC. Second point I quickly wanted to show you, okay, we have the workspaces. The workspaces itself show um, an overview of what do I have where. So for example, I do have um, some devices connected here to this event codec. They're all red, so they're not connected. Interestingly enough is I don't only see the device itself, but I can also see, for example, if something has been connected to this device. So quite <clears throat> cool. I can scroll, scroll down here. So that's the normal workspace view. I can then also go to our new insights part where I can see, okay, there are certain points which are not set as I would like it to be. The device, the workspaces with the biggest issues are on top. Let's say <clears throat> this um, capacity of the workspace is something I can easily change, right? So I can go ahead and go to the um, meeting room and I say, okay, I would like to set capacity for example, 10 people, it will um, it will be done. And then I see the event codec does have 10 people set and it has still offline devices, but it's okay, it's not, uh, this issue is gone. And further down I have, for example, on the, on the Desk Pro, I have an ultrasound issue. What is that ultrasound issue? I can see, okay, have interference with other devices or um, it may fail as such. So I can see if there is a um, other hint for me to, to check and I can see like, okay, increase maximum volume uh, of the ultrasound pairing. So this is all um, quite interesting information. We can also see the utilization of the meeting rooms. So for example, um, how, when the busy times are in our office, so we can see, okay, basically in the last 24 hours, it was between nine and 10 where the meeting rooms have been used the most. I can also have a look at it during the, la the last uh, seven days. And um, the most 
popular day here was the 20, 21st of November. I can see both. I can also then have a look at the uh, which were the most popular meeting rooms here. So I can see, okay, here this small meeting room has apparently been used the most and the least was like some um, other quiet room area which has been used much less. So that was it, a very brief overview on uh, what's new, uh, what is important, like important news, how sharing my excitement, how amazing Control Hub is. I hope it helped. Thank you very much for watching and um, yeah, let's stay tuned for a next quick update video from my end just uh, to share what else is new and is around now. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.